Here is the generic element we've been considering in our grid so far that is somewhere along the x-axis. We can get away with evaluating the integral only once if we introduce what is called a master element. It is convenient to have the master element extend from minus 1 to positive 1. So we're going to transform this here to a master element. Call this master element E. So this is node 1 and node 2 of the master element, which means that the master element is in a different coordinate system, which we will call natural coordinates psi, natural coordinates. So this is in x coordinates, our Cartesian coordinate system, and the master element is in psi coordinates, natural coordinates. Using this approach, for each element in the grid, we would perform a coordinate transformation from x-coordinates to natural psi-coordinates. Then we would apply the solution to the integral that we have. We can evaluate it once here for our natural coordinate element. And then we can transform the solution from natural coordinates back to x-coordinates again. So we have it over a specific element in the x grid. Next time we'll talk more about the master element and how it will help make things easier for us even though it introduces a new step that involves coordinate transformations.